I realized that doing things on your own makes things so much difficult. If you feel like you're not getting nowhere because it is more than likely because you're trying to do it yourself. You know, if you're an entrepreneur and you say, hey, I'm starting a business, I'm going to do it by myself because I don't need nobody. <laughs> I'm fine. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Even even if you're, you're building a business around your skill set, there are other components in business that you're still gonna need other people, mm-hmm. even if you outsource, you know. Uh, today, we're gonna talk about collaboration, man. I, I like it, I like Uh-oh. it. Collaboration. What's happening, people? Welcome back to Be More To Do More podcast, where we help you to become the person you need to become. To do the things you call to do. <laughs> right tone in the building and Henry A. Harden. The what? The third. Don't forget the three. Yeah. We back in the studio, bro. Back in the studio, man. This uh, Tuesday morning. Um, got my tea with me since I stopped drinking coffee. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Ask me how that's going. How's that going? It's going okay, but not great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. What you got, man? What, what's up, man? What are we talking about today? Uh, today, we're going to talk about collaboration, man. I, I like it. I like uh, it. Collaboration. Being that this topic has been on my heart <laughs> for, for a few reasons, man. Uh, um, I don't know if I want to get into it, into it. Yeah. Uh, man, so. We're here now. <laughs> we're here, man. We're here. So, so. You know, I had like 200 jobs, right? Right. So what I've noticed, and I started maybe 30 businesses, really real talk, probably 20 businesses, right? So from managing artists to uh, executive produce uh, to uh, rapping myself, Mm -hmm. now, you know, this whole media thing, ask me what I do in media. I can't even tell you. (laughs) I just know it's media and I can help you put your show together and all that and whatever. No official title. No (laughs) official title, bro. But what I've noticed is that anytime that there's a uh, collaboration, man, with, uh, I don't want to say our people. Can I say that? Um, I just, I would. I don't know if it's a. I don't know if it's a. I don't know if it's a our people thing. You yeah. Know? Well, only only to what I'm exposed. Yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. You know what yeah, I mean. We're just exposed to our people. Yeah, because <laughs> I only work with black people. So <laughs> you know what I mean. And and obviously we we may think the grass is green on the other side, but that probably it's not. not. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, yeah. But what I notice is that when somebody get an inch of success. Like, not even a lot. And this has been in music, in the podcast game. Like, people tend to get, I want to say big headed. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And what I mean by that, they begin to look at themselves as if they've gotten them to this point, right? Mm-hmm. And they begin to forget about their team, yep. you know? And not, and not just in that instance. But also we have, you know, maybe starting uh, beginning entrepreneurs, yeah. um, even even um, a, a leader that just got promoted to a manager or something like that. Mm-hmm. We can we can relate. We can talk about that too. But they get to this point where they think they could just do it themselves. Mm-hmm. And man, look, I've been down this road a few times, <laughs> many times. <laughs> if I had avoided this road from jump, I wouldn't have had. 300 jobs or right. I want to have 20 businesses, you know, trying right. to do things on my own. But I realized that doing things on your own makes things so much difficult, Yeah, you know, and that's why when Be More to Do More, I was like, nah, man, this is a Henry Harden, <laughs> you know what I mean? And <laughs> this is like, because it, it just made sense, you know, so like I knew that we had to collab. Mm-hmm. And I'm just more, call it what you want, call it codependence, whatever you want to call it, but I'm all for collabor- collaboration. So that's just my heart on that matter, man. Yeah. You know, I just have to, I had to get that out, man. Yeah, I mean, like, if you, th- if you think about it, right, over the last two years, mm-hmm. what have you done by yourself? Nothing. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. And... You probably have the most success that you've ever had. Yeah, I have. <laughs> but if there, so, like, and like exactly, exactly what you said, right? People get promoted, right? And they think that they're the reason. Oh, I'm the reason why I got promoted. Uh, yeah. But the reality of man, like, 
You ain't it. Nah. You are not. You are, not you are. It. You are not as good as you think you are. That's true. That's Even true. if you're good, right? But you're not as good as you think you are. <laughs> there's always somebody better, bro. It's always somebody better, and there's always somebody um, that has better performance because of they put their power or their significance in their team. That's true. Like, oh. if, like if you don't, if you don't do that, right, right. Eventually, you're gonna fall off because you're gonna be. Fr- I mean, I, and I remember like you're gonna be frustrated, right? Because like, man, like why? Why aren't the people doing what they need to do? Like it's simple. Just come to work, do your job, right? Right. It don't work like that. <laughs> like, and it's almost like you know, Mike, like Mike Tumlin um, said, um, you know, you can have this transactional, you know, type of um, this transactional type of relationship right right right. you do good great job you do bad bad job right right but what is that doing like you have to have intimacy you have to have a way to be able to make you know make everyone feel like they're included that's true that's true because you're not you're not the reason why you got promoted you're not the reason so i gotta collaborate i think that's a problem too man is you said you think it's you um, pride, man. Pride mm-hmm. comes before the fall, you know. Almost certainly. <laughs> and, and, and I saw that in many instances, you know, mm-hmm. like when people's I'm the man, like even in music, man, I because I got this connection or because I can do this or mm-hmm. because I can, I'm the man. But in actuality, you can't do that by yourself. You're still going to need other people. Yep. You know what I mean? And I, I've seen it fall apart. I've seen it, you know, I, I've seen, you know, it all crumble. Mm-hmm. And I, I just really want to talk to people out there who just feel like, you know, if you're an entrepreneur and you think, hey, I'm starting a business, I'm going to do it by myself because I don't need nobody. <laughs> I'm fine. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Even even if you're 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 building a business around your skill set, there are other components in business that you're still going to need other people. Mm-hmm. Even if you outsource, you know, Fiverr or whatever, you're still going to yep. need other people to help you with that, man. So I want to talk to y'all today, man, about collaboration. Um, first, I want to get into the negatives. Okay. Um, There's negatives of collaboration? No, nah, negatives, negatives of not collaborating. Okay, okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? You got to think about it. So I know when I first started out, man, like, I just, entrepreneurship is a, big ocean mm-hmm. you this itty bitty small fish you mm-hmm. know what I mean yeah so you really don't know how to navigate when you first get into entrepreneurship and sometimes you find yourself doing so much and not getting nowhere mm-hmm. you know so there's some difficulty that comes with doing things by yourself and I need you to understand the reason is because you're doing it by yourself you know what I mean because first of all we don't have all the know-how when it comes to entrepreneurship. We mm-hmm. don't have all the know-how when it comes to leadership. Mm-hmm. So we 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 are so caught up on being the man that we're not willing to get educated or sit up under somebody else to learn, you know. So mentorship. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you in a small you in a big ocean but you're a small fish but you don't want mentorship because you think you got it figured out. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? Silly. It's silly. It's real silly. So it's going to get you um nowhere mm-hmm, pretty much, mm-hmm. man. So, yeah, what, what you got on that? I know I know mentorship is yeah. I mean Okay, everything rises and falls on leadership. Yeah. Right. But mentorship is like almost like it stops it from falling, if that makes sense. Yeah. Like, it keeps you, it, it, your mentor is going to be able to not only speak into rooms right. before you even get into rooms. Oh. Right. But your mentor is also going to be able to keep you from falling into the pit, you know, the, the, the pit. I like that. What you say? Get speaking into the room before you get in the room. Yeah, that's that's, that's like you got to have a, we, you know, some people call it a sponsor, some people call it, um, you know, an advocate, whatever. Right. But you gotta have somebody speaking, and and I and I and I heard this in that um, in that uh, Shannon Sharp and uh, Monique interview, and he said, you know, in so many words, this is what I got from him. Put it this way, this is what I got from. Him. I don't think they kind of said it this way, but it's what I got from it. Mm-hmm. It's more important, right, than what 
um, it's more important for what people say behind your back oh, than what they say in your face. That's true. That's heavy, bro. Like, and Gary Vee said it, right? Like, he said, he was like, I hustle for uh, I hustle for my last name, right? And I hustle for what people say when I'm not in the room. That's true. That's so true. Your men- so having a mentor, somebody that, that has taken a liking to you, right. somebody that sees, you know, you bigger than what you even see yourself, right. is super important because when you walk into the room, they've already kind of laid the foundation on who you are. Man, let me tell you how important that is, though. And people ain't going to see it this way. Jesus. Mm. Oh, John? Jesus. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. So I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. The, I don't know. The, I, you about to break it down because I don't really know it like that. But right. I, know you about to, I know you about to kill it. Go ahead. Man, Go ahead. All right, even Jesus, right? Being man, but God, right? Yeah. He still followed pursuit. Mm. Because his ultimate mission was to come as human. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So he had to follow all of the protocols. People don't understand that. People don't understand why Jesus said that John the Baptist was the greatest prophet. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? And there'd be no great nobody greater than him because John the Baptist prepared the way right. for Jesus. He was the one that spoke in the room before Jesus got Dang, there. that's deep, bro. If it wasn't for John, it wouldn't be no Jesus. Yeah. And people don't understand that, right? Now, of course, God, he's God. He can make, you know, but again, when he came to earth, he knew that he had to follow proper protocol. Yeah. So you had the cousin John, you know, who was baptizing, preaching uh, repentance, you know, for the, you know, like he was making the way for Jesus mm-hmm. Christ. And then when Jesus came to John, he said, baptize me. Like, I need you to baptize me. Mm-hmm. Not that I want you to baptize, but I need this because I need to follow this protocol. Mm-hmm. What John said, dude, you greater than me. <laughs> you should be baptized. <laughs> now nah, he said, no, I need this because it's the proper protocol. I right. need people to see you endorse me. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Because now I need to, you know, establish influences, you know, in these particular areas or whatever, you know. So Jesus was baptized by John. John made the way. He mm-hmm. spoke in the room before Jesus. And then John said, yo, he the one. Mm-hmm. He the one. You know what I mean? He's it. Yeah. You feel me? I know this is so off topic, but I'm just curious. What happened to John? He got, like, his, he got his head chopped off. Was that like before Jesus came? Or was Jesus already born? Like, was he already... When John? Yeah. It was way before Jesus. What happened to John? Yeah. No, John baptized Jesus. Oh, he did. He did just say that. Okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then and then he got his... He prophesied to the king. The king cut his head off, man. It's crazy. Dang. Yeah. I don't know why I'm laughing on that part. <laughs> it's crazy weird. But, you know... Nah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but... but off topic. Yeah, uh, I was. Yeah, I was. Told, I, I just. I was just. No, nah, no. Nah, I'm saying I'm going off topic. Yeah. But even even before he got his head chopped out, he started quest- like, "Is he really the one?" <laughs> oh, really? He started questioning Jesus. Like, is he really the one? You know, cause mm-hmm. he was going through. Uh, but it was too late by then. Jesus already established influence, and mm-hmm. you know. But yeah, that's off topic, man. But anyway, even Jesus had he needed an endorsement. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And. John was it for him. John made the way. So even if you think you're great in entrepreneurship and you think you fire and whatever you do, you still need somebody to prepare the way for you. It's just what it is. Yeah. You know what I mean? And and you can't think of yourself more than leadership. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, man. Um, how did I get there? I don't know. Well, you're talking about mentorship and we oh. found out that Jesus... Has uh, had a mentor. Yeah, yeah. Well, oh, oh. Well, well. Even before that, if you want to talk about mentorship, Jesus was. Um, I think in the be- beginning of Matthew's, it says that Jesus spent most of his time in the synagogue, and you know, asking questions and gaining understanding. Mm-hmm. Even God Himself had to humble Himself before man to get the understanding and learning. Excuse me, and people don't see those minor um, uh, scenarios because you know we we don't look we just we don't look deeply into things. But Jesus really had to like humble himself. He was twelve, I think he was twelve, and you know he went to the synagogue to learn, and mm-hmm. he went through all the proper pro- protocols as a human. Mm-hmm. And you know that part in itself 
is miraculous because mm-hmm. he really humbled himself, you know, to learn and to uh, sit under mentorship, you know, um, as a kid. So, yeah, yeah, yeah man. Um, but yeah, mentorship, mentorship. So, you in the ocean, you in this big ocean, you're a small, small fish. You need a mentorship, you need a leadership because they come with all types of connections. So, if you feel like you're not getting nowhere because it is more than likely because you're trying to do it yourself. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So so I just wanted to get into that negative piece. But I think I got like three or four tips. Okay. Benefits of collaboration. Oh, I didn't write it here. Let's see. Number one, speed. Speed. Yeah. <laughs> speed. Yeah. Number one benefit of collaboration is speed. Um, we talked about we talked about uh Gary V. Okay. Yep. And we were talking about content, right? Right. And um, I'm a content creator. I'm not thigh at it, but, you know, I do that, you know. And I realized that I'm not doing enough work every time I listen to Gary Vee. <laughs> if one thing Gary Vee gonna make you feel like it's like you feel like you're lazy. Yeah, right, right, right. He gonna make you like, dang, why, why, why am I not up at four o'clock in the morning? <laughs> right. He said, "What did he say? You should be putting out how much pieces of content?" Shoot, I don't know. It's a lot. A like lot. you should be putting out. Was it some crazy number like two hundred or something a day or something like that? Oh, I don't, was it that much? I don't know, man. Dang. Don't, don't get me the line, but <laughs> it was in my mind. That's what it felt like. Yeah. But then he said this, uh, and you you heard it when he, he said, but he got a team. Yeah, 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 he, yeah. He don't do it all by himself. himself. Yeah, he he, know. he just talk. He got a few different people that do different stuff. Right. He just talk, and he just got people film, mm-hmm. filming him and all that. You know, as great as Gary Vee is at what he do, he still have a team. He still mm-hmm. have that collaboration. And then, not only that, man, but he he honors team too. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. so so me trying to keep up and, and when we started this journey of be more to do more, <laughs> that's when I started listening to him more. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, yeah, we not doing this nearly as what he's saying a, a day, you know, like putting out content. And I just felt exposed, bro. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But um, I noticed then that I needed more people. And what you say? You got, you got to hire an intern or something like that. Got to hire an intern. Did you say? Did you tell me hire an intern? Get an intern. Oh yeah, yeah. So yeah. So I was saying, yeah, like get like a college kid that want to do yeah, like that want to do media. Right. Bring them in, teach them the ropes. I mean, obviously you get somebody to help you write a collaboration, but then they right. get the experience out of and be able to you know eventually go on to do their own thing. But right. Um. But yeah, I think you definitely got to you know utilize that side of collaboration. That's true. That's true. And I noticed too, like when you are starting out as an entrepreneur, like we, we, we have, I guess these pillars of success or we compare ourselves to maybe a company that inspire us or an individual that inspire us. And we get discouraged sometimes because we see them moving super fast. Mm hmm. But you have to understand these people got like, what, 40 to 100 people working with them. Right. You know what I mean? So I'm saying this to say this. Speed is important. Collaboration is important because it causes us to be productive and have speed to to be able to compete in the market. Right. If we ain't got no team, we can't compete. Cause yeah. Ain't no way, bro, I can put out... 30 some pieces of content a day or 40. <laughs> I mean, we got AI now. I mean, it helps, you know, yeah. but ain't no way that, you know, I can I can produce that much by myself. Yeah. So, speed. And I, and I think it's two parts. There's two parts of looking at speed. Okay. Um, because, okay, so there's a saying that if you want to go, if you want to go fast, right. do it yourself. Right. If you want to go far, uh, yep. do it with others. Yeah. So, I think one part of the speed uh, of the you know of the speed spectrum, I guess, mm-hmm. is understanding that collaboration can also quote unquote like it, like you may not be able to like and I and I guess I guess the, the the way to look at it is sometimes like we look at speed and it's just like 
quick. Quick. Oh, speed I, I is not going. quick. Yeah, I see where you. You going. know what I'm saying? I see where you going. So there's a difference between being quick and having speed. Oh, oh you know, I know where you're going with that. So collaboration right. allows you to be able to have the right velocity of. You said it there, velocity. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of production. Yeah. Because you're getting a lot of things accomplished without having to do it all yourself. Yeah. But then what it also does, um, again, it gives you the longevity. That's true. Of being able to do it for a long period of time as yeah. well. Because you you're to, not burning yourself out. You get to save yourself. Yeah. So the, how I think about what you just said. And this is a part that I had to get comfortable with. Um, not with you, like, would be more to do more, but mm -hmm. with video production, right? So by myself, I can get my lights, my camera, everything, everything, and just hop in the car and go. Pull right. Up, you know what I mean? And I can shoot, come home, put stuff down, edit. And I can get you done about about two weeks, something like that. Mm -hmm. You know, have, have your video ready to go. But with a team... I'm not doing all that. You know, I, I might just play maybe one or two roles, either um, camera op or I may be, you know, technical director, like switching or I might, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I play two roles, but it takes longer to pack the stuff up because we got more equipment. Mm -hmm. and it takes longer to, you know, get everybody there on time because we got more people. Right. It takes, lo it seems like it takes longer but do you know how much energy I have? Right. How much creativity <laughs> right. I have just just having those one or two positions? Mm -hmm. And we can get the stuff out on time because we got somebody who just edits. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, And we get it done quicker. Another thing, I probably make less, but I can do that 10, 10 five, 5 to 10 times in yep. a week. Yep. You know what I mean? Yep. And I can make more. Yep. It make it it for people who I know people who wants to do this by themselves and they feel like no I'll just make more money because I do it by myself <laughs> but if you think about it I would make more money than you because I can do this five to ten times a week when you can mm -hmm. just do it once yep. you can only have one or two clients I can have ten yep. <laughs> you know what I mean and I can mm -hmm. make more money than you so you know collaboration speed all of that man it, it's like it may take it may take uh, a ship longer mm -hmm. to prepare than the expedition car. Right. You know what I mean? Right. But how much productivity am I getting from a ship? Right. How, much, how, how, how many packages can I deliver on a, uh, a mm -hmm. ship versus the expedition? Yep. Yeah. But anyway, man, you, you just brought that out of me, man. Nah, yeah, man. Yeah, so. Yeah. Um, the, the game is volume. I mean, I'll let you go to your next topic, but the game is volume, man. Right. You got to have volume because that's, that's what – Again, that's what's going to make, you know, that's what makes the money. Right. It's volume. It's not about, as I, and I tell my mom this, right, like, you can have all these houses you're cleaning, mm -hmm. and that's cool, right? Like, right. you know, people going to pay you $100, $150, $300 a pop, whatever it is, right? Right, right. But, you know, you can take $50, $75 from this apartment complex right. that has five apartments for you to clean. That's true. Employ some people, right? Right. Now you're making you're not making three hundred dollars on a on a on a on a on a on one client. You're making about let's call it one fifty, right? Right. But you're doing none of the work. That, so now yeah. you can just duplicate that across another complex. That's true. And another complex. See and another complex. See. So now you got five complex that are making five times one fifty is what seven fifty, right? Per Versus, so you've doubled your money, right? Just by you know, and you're saving yourself. Dang. How much time freedom you got? It's about time. Like, everything we do is about time freedom. Oh. How can I free up more time? Right. Collaboration is all about time freedom. That's it. Oh, man, hey, you better, bro. Bars. <laughs> there we go. I'm glad we home, man. We, Bars. There we go. Wait. Bars. Yeah. So I gotta tell. I love to watch you watch. I love to watch you do the board. <laughs> <laughs> I get excited, man. Uh, we're gonna get this at uh, at the headquarters, bro. We're gonna get them put on at the yeah, headquarters, man. Yeah. But uh, I well, in that case, I got a testimony. I know I, we time wise. No, we, we good. Just, we just, it's what it is. We got yeah. It's so, what it is. So uh, we know I had LAD Films or mm -hmm. LAD Media, right? Mm -hmm. 
that was me just freelancing, mm. like just doing stuff myself. And tr- out of these two years, like we talked about, <laughs> that was one thing I was doing by myself, yeah. right? But I came to APAP Media, man. Yeah. Sh- shout out to APAP Media, yeah. man. Mr. Peter. Not Peter. Uh, that's, <laughs> that's what LaDonna call him. Uh, Mr. Peasy. I call him Mr. Peasy. He owns uh, APAP Media, man. I was like, this dude really got something here, man. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm like, yo, forget LAD Media. Mm-hmm. It's just the name. It's just the name. I'm man. finna partner with uh, APAP. I'm finna, we finna, so we can do, and, I, and it's a testimony. It takes time to build, but I was making probably like freelancing, maybe, Three fifty to seven hundred a pop, mm-hmm. you know, per per gig. Now we have the potential to make ten grand <laughs> to twenty grand <laughs> per gig. You see what I'm right. saying? And right. then we having a having a team, ten twenty. You know, having a team. Yep. I don't have to worry about doing all this by myself. Yep. And then Mr. P has the knowledge to put all this stuff together that I don't have to worry about. I ain't got to worry about lights. I ain't got to worry about none of that. All I have to do is do what he need me to do. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Or, or how, however I can fill in. And that took so much stress off of me. And it, it feels like I'm busier because I can do more things. Mm-hmm. But when it comes to the media part, I ain't really got much to do. But, you know, just, you know, however I can fill in. So I had to humble myself, man. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And I had to humble myself to the point where I lost the name because mm-hmm. it's just a name, mm-hmm. right? Because we have the same vision, just like right. you and I. Be yeah. more to do more. We have the same vision. Yeah, I, had to stop, I, I ain't going to say I stopped using Scam, but, like, I don't really – I don't too much use Scam anymore. Right. Like, I'm, I'm – everything – all over social media, whatever it is be more to do more. Right, right. It's just a name. But yeah, it's a it's a name, right? <laughs> because it's it's about the person. Like people gonna gravitate to Henry. Mm-hmm. People gonna gravitate to Tone. Mm-hmm. People gonna gravitate to Mister P. We all have our thing. Mm-hmm. So, I think when the vision aligns, and th- see this, <sighs> go there, go there, go there. When the yeah. vision aligns, man, that's when everything works out with collaboration. The first problem. See, I should have made this point first. Mm. The first problem is that when we have a vision, we think it's ours. Yeah. The vision is not ours. It ain't. No. Nah. <laughs> it's not our but vision. But I saw it, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was in that mind. I saw it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the vision the vision was given. Mm. And, you know, and, and I don't know if you know this, man, but before we started working, I was like, bro, like, what you want to do? You know what I mean? <laughs> because, because I knew it was something there. I just didn't, I was like, what you want to do? And you told me, I said, oh, I want to do that too. <laughs> Secretly, I ain't, tell, I ain't tell you though, right? And I was like, so what's your goal with it? And you said what you said, and I was like, oh, my <laughs> Oh, snap. <laughs> I'm finna go there, man. I'm finna, I'm finna ask this man to. <laughs> and I was like, okay, what's next though? What, like, after that, do you, you know, you want to continue being on camera? And you said, nah, I want to be number two. I said, me too. (laughs) (laughs) I want to be number two. (laughs) I said, me too. Yeah. Oh, my gosh, man. But anyway, the vision is not ours, man. It was given. And I believe that God give each person a piece of the vision, just like a puzzle. Mm -hmm. And what happened is we think it's my vision. (laughs) <laughs> he gave it to me Right You know what I mean it, It's my vision And it ain't a part of my vision And that's the point Like When you got that attitude and You're not gonna collaborate And you're not gonna go far mm-hmm. I've seen it so many times So mm-hmm. Yeah man That's that To that point Damn Time Boy I'm telling you It's flying man It's flying So Okay So with my testimony man I got with Mr. P You know um, I got with Henry A. Harden the third Don't forget the three Don't forget the three <laughs> Um <laughs> And this part is most uncomfortable, and I'm going to tell you why. And, and, and don't hurt me for it, bro. No, you good. Checks and balance. Yeah. Checks and balance. <laughs> Numbers, the number two benefit of collaboration is checks and balance. And the reason why it's uncomfortable, because yeah. it exposed me. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. What yeah. do you mean? What do you mean? I've come from a, a mindset of knowing I know everything. Okay. You know, think about it, man. Like, why do you think that I work 
by myself for so long. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Cause, thought I knew everything. Uh, oh. I didn't know. I didn't need nobody, man. I thought. Oh. I thought, I thought I had it all figured out. Dang. You feel me? Yeah. You know. Um. So. I'm saying that just like super bad. Like I'm just a, just a know it all. But so no. Con- yeah. I mean, you gotta. Have, it's. Com- I mean, you can call it confidence in a way. Right. You confidence in your ability. Right. To be able to produce what you need to produce for your business. Right. I get right. it. I right. Get it. So so I didn't I felt like okay, I can just do this myself. Mhm. But what I'm learning number one, spiritual spirit my spiritual life changed, right? So humility I ain't going to say that. But humi- I noticed that that's a trend from, you know, you know, it was passed down. Just put it okay, like that. Gotcha. You know generational. I mean? <laughs> gotcha. Generational, right? Okay. So, but I noticed that in this area, I need to be humble. Yeah. And I need to put myself in a position where there are check, checks and balances. Mm-hmm. Because my ideas may not like, I would give you an idea. And you're like, why would you do that? And I like, <laughs> <laughs> now I got to sit and really think, okay, why would I do that? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, no, 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 but real talk. But after thinking, like, nah, that really makes sense. Like, you know what, bro was right. You know, yeah. But that that's the point. Like checks and balances, man. Like it exposes you, but that's the part of being humble. You know, mm-hmm. like humility. That's why if you notice, like billionaires, they're like some of them mm-hmm. are like real humble because they know that I ain't got it all, mm-hmm. and they know that I'm here by grace and that I have a good team. That's why they put so much emphasis on their team because they're exposed. Mm-hmm. They know that there are areas that they're not great in. So me, I'm learning like, yo, and it's it's a trust thing too. You know, like, so I'm learning like, yo, you ain't got it. You don't know it all. Like, just lean on your people. Mm-hmm. Even with Mr. P, man, like, I'm, I, hey, what you think about this? Right. Uh, or I, I checks and balances. Even when you know. Right. Like even when you even right. when you know what to do, right, it's still good to ask that person, Hey, how do you what are your thoughts on this? Make sure I ain't tripping. Right. right. Yeah, um, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, one like we you know, I have a new leader and I wanna make sure that even though I know what to do, right. What I've what I've started doing recently is being more intentional with calling that leader and asking them, getting their perspective. Right. To make sure I'm still in line with what their vision is. Right. That's true. You know, so it's it's important. It's important to be able to have those checks and balances and even to ask about, hey, what do you, how do you see this? Because I know how I see it, but right. let me understand how you see it to That's make true. sure it's still in line. And if it don't, right. okay, how, what's the middle ground? How that's can we figure out how to make this work that's for true. both of us? That's true. That's true. So, that That's that's good stuff, man. Um, I had a point when you, when you just said something. I, it just went out the window, though. Mr. P? <laughs> Mr. P, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Nah, Dang. nah, that, that wasn't it. Oh, here you go. There you go. So, <laughs> <laughs> but you know, another thing too, I think you and I are different. Yeah. Because I noticed that men struggle with this more than women. Mm. Women, women is by nature, they're, they're meant to collab. Right. You know, that's why they're more successful than we are, mm. you know, because they can collab. Hey, I need your advice on this. I work with more... Apart from us, mm-hmm. I work with like client wise mm-hmm. more women than men. Mm-hmm. Well, no, I have a few other clients that are men, but more women than men because women they're not afraid to ask questions. Mm-hmm. They're not afraid to get your opinion, mm-hmm. you know. And they know that hey, I ain't got this all figured. It's a part of them to 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 collab. So that's why they take all their more successful. Um, and they're more resourceful. They have more connections, you know, because they can collab. So, mm-hmm. but us man, we struggle, man. Y'all need to chill out, check your <laughs> ego, be humble, man. If you if you're in the dirt right now, and you're not where you want to be, look around you, man. Like, just be humble. Mm-hmm. Ask questions. Go get a mentor. Go get some resources. You know, human resources or whatever. Yeah, yeah. You know, and it's and it's. It's two reasons why I made why I made a decision last night mm-hmm. to do what I did last night. Right. Um, what you do last night? Um, st- <laughs> I decided to sleep on the floor. <laughs> oh, <laughs> at my crib. <laughs> oh, God. like it's two reasons though. It's two reasons. Okay. One, speed. Oh, like 
I'll like no. Let me let me because if I gotta if I gotta bring all this extra stuff with me, if I gotta go to this different place, right? Like it's gonna slow me down. Like I I need to get in and get out. Right. Right. Yeah. 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 yeah That's yeah. number one. Yeah. Number two. Uh huh. And this is why I was I was <laughs> this is why I was like so um, adamant yeah, on yeah, yeah, yeah. on my you know my, my kid my boy sleeping you yeah. know down because like it all it forces me to stay humble. Yeah, you know, I say, like, I, I say it, I'll be, I'll be happy to humble you. Yeah, like, like, <laughs> like, cause, like, sometimes, like, you don't have, and I'm not saying this is my situation, but like, man, I seen a, man, I seen a video. I don't know if you've seen it. Uh huh. Of, uh, oh, was it Christina Aguilera or uh, it was somebody? I can't remember the, the chick name. Right. But she was walking. Uh huh. And she had this dude like brushing her hair what? while she was walking. What? And it's just like how did how do you get so full of yourself where you got somebody like just brushing your hair while you walking? Right. Like it's like a whole bunch of paparazzi around or whatever. <laughs> like it was just it was weird, bro. Like right. it was weird. Right. And but it's like, dang, like, you know, it don't start off that way though, right? That's true. It yeah. starts off something so small and so and then it just builds up to like, no, actually I need to look good all the time. Right. I need you to brush my hair as that, I'm walking. That's a lot of energy. Right? Yeah. A lot of energy, right? But that's good collaboration. So I, <laughs> yeah. I go ahead. So I never want to get to that point, right? So I, so I personally put you know different things in my life to be able to like slow myself. Like right. you ain't. That's okay, another 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 thing, right? Right. We talk about humility. And I right? was I was adamant to let you sleep I on know. the floor because oh. <laughs> because wifey she be like no uh-uh. right right they not come I said right. no 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 this right. is what he wants yeah yeah, yeah. go ahead I appreciate that yeah. I appreciate that because my wife was definitely tripping about yeah it both too. of them they probably was communicating <laughs> through text go ahead man but uh <laughs> <laughs> but uh this is another like. You know, recently we had a a post that went kind of viral, right? Yeah, forty thousand, yeah, you know, views on the on but the, the post, culture right? Culture is Zach, but, but come on with it. Like, I still don't feel like I can't allow myself to even think that I did a good job. Yeah, I know you you wouldn't take none of my praises, <laughs> nothing, because it's like it's it's gonna get a couple reasons for that too, right? But like, yeah. you know, but but I'm just not I'm just not going to. Um, I gotta, I gotta. I've seen so many men, yeah, so many up. people, yeah, get caught up, uh huh, on <laughs> themselves, right, thinking that they the man, right, and you know, that's again, like we said earlier, the the pride, pride goes for the fall, right, yeah, almost certainly, right, right. Um, so it's just knowing that, right. Why would I? Why would I allow myself to get to that point? Right, where I got the big head, man. Don't make sense. It, that, I feel you. I completely feel you, though. Like again, I was adamant, bro. I told my wife, no, <laughs> he's going to sleep on the floor, and you know, I was I wasn't even gonna give you no covers, bro. I was just gonna let you thug it out, bro. <laughs> yeah, nah, I was just kidding. I was just kidding, man. That was, uh, one, one more thing. I, know, I'm, I feel like I'm, I feel like this is going longer than. Nah, it's, we good, bro. But, we, good. Um, we here. We but here. We here. We here. Yeah. Uh, something you were saying earlier, and I want, and I just had to take the time out to like commend you, right, for realizing that it's more important, like the. The work itself right. is more important uh-huh. than the name that's on the work. That's true. Right. And yeah. it makes you think about, you know, I've referenced it like two times already. It's going to be like the third time I reference this, this track, and it's going to be the lyric of the day. But this is not the actual lyric. But, right, right. Um, but it said, you rather, work, you rather work for the man than to work with me. Uh, right? Same song. Same song. Now, we had a few. Uh, it's, a, it's a few bars in that thing, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. But, yeah. like. But, and I think, like, and sometimes we look at working for the man as, like, working for a company or whatever, but sometimes that working for the man could be working for yourself. Oh, I got chills. So. Yeah, man. Why would you work for yourself? Right. And only be able to produce a percentage of what you could do with somebody that's already already has that's everything true. that you need. That's true. That's and true. they just need they need you right. to be able to get it to where, you know, right. Right. Where you get where you're getting it to, right? Right. Like right. and I just that takes and I and I like I guess that takes vision. 
Yeah. Right. And it takes humility as well. Right. So right. I just I just appreciate you, right? For oh, man, thank you for sir. you know realizing that it's better to work with somebody right. than to work by yourself and get yeah, man a percentage of what what you need to get done. Because I learned not to work for the man. <laughs> I work for the vision. Ooh, <laughs> you yeah, know what I mean? I work, yeah. I work for the vision, man. Yeah. When you when you when you let the vision employ you, mm-hmm. then it's no longer about you. Then you know, oh, he's great for the vision. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's not about I can do this and I can, see that's why we make good number twos. Mm-hmm. You know, because it's like it's it's not about us. Right. You just said it. I would not let myself get to that point. Mm-hmm. Even if I hit like 40k on a on a on a reel or whatever, even if I make a lot of money and we live in a nice house and all this, you know, I would not let myself get caught up in this. Mm-hmm. We going to sleep on the floor. Yeah. Cuz it's about the vision. <laughs> it's about the vision, man. <laughs> oh man, uh, that was good. That was good stuff, man. Uh, number two, man. I mean, number three. Number three. Um, How many is it? Four. I have four, man. Okay, cool. But number three. Um, creativity. The mm. third benefit of collaboration is creativity. I'm learning, bro. Like, because we are. This is a creative economy, mm-hmm. and if you notice, like. I was watching, uh, I'm not on social media, but I was watching with Chris Ann, um, what's her name, Gia, um, uh, DJ Emmy's wife? Oh, yeah, Gia. Uh, Gia, I said her name wrong. I was watching her, like, her birthday or whatever. She mm-hmm. had a birthday, um, and the video was, like, I want to say May or five minutes long or something, super mm-hmm. long. Um <laughs> this is crazy, right? Less long. Super long. Five yeah, minutes. Five minutes, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's the creative economy, man. Yeah. And she, my wife was like, dang, she had to have a cameraman with her all these days? And mm. I said, yep. And they got to buy you breakfast and food or whatever, you know, because, mm. you know, in video, that's what it is. And I was like, dang, it's crazy how our lives turned into entertainment mm. in, some, in, some, in some way. Yeah, for sure. And now you have somebody... Um, recording you and you know to put this stuff together man mm-hmm. and you 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 take a moment and you want to turn that moment into good content yeah. you need <laughs> collaboration yeah. you know what i mean and the creativity from that you know using somebody else's creativity right. to produce that is king and it's going to get you success mm-hmm. you know of course you got a lot of views you know and stuff like that and not only that, man, you, you get views, so many views and so many followers, you know, you start getting paid from these pl- platforms, mm-hmm. you know, so creativity, man, collaboration helps a great deal with creativity. Mm-hmm. I know if I ain't got it, bro, like it's something like, bro, what you think about this, you know, and then you'll come in and give your credit. You remember that Jay-Z video? Yeah. Spe- <laughs> speaking of viral, let's talk about that. That's tough. Man, when we first started Be More to Do More, man, I was just playing around with some ideas or whatever. Um, and I did um, Jay-Z, because Lyric of the Day is not, that's not my creation. This is Henry Harden, Henry A. Harden the three. Don't forget the three, the culture is This is his creation. But I tried it, right? So I was like, let me try to do a Lyric of the Day for JTNS. Mm-hmm. Jay-Z, uh, a verse from God did. And when I did the video, I hated it. Mm-hmm. You know, and I was like, bro, I did something. I tried it. <laughs> I hate it. I'm finna scratch it. And he's like, nah, man, nah, man. Let me see it. Let me see it. Let me see it. So I sent it to to uh, to Henry, and then he chopped it up some kind of way. And I was like, oh, this is fire. Now, remind you, I'm the video editor. <laughs> I'm to remind you now. Now, I'm, I'm just saying. I'm in video production. I'm the video e- editor, you know, and he chopped it up and sent it. So I was like, oh, this is fire, bro. Mm-hmm. I posted that thing on um, Instagram. I thought it was YouTube. It was that, Instagram? That was Instagram. Oh, uh-huh, Instagram. Junk had like 59K views. Yeah. And I was about to throw it away, bro. <laughs> because of, because I had a creative block. Yeah. But I was able to lean on your creativity. Yeah. And remind you, I'm the video editor. Right. <laughs> right. So that was, that was like... 
I wasn't, it's not like a humbling moment because I didn't feel no way, but I'm like, yo, we definitely need to, we need to start right now. Mm -hmm. Let's go, man. Like that right there. That was like first collaboration, wasn't it? That like, was, that was confirmation. I was like, oh, this is it, bro. We, mm -hmm. we just need to do because we're both creative. We both have a, we both have an eye. So me being, being able to lean on your creativity, it helps a great deal. Like, cause I ain't going to have it all, all the time, you know, so. That's one benefit of collaboration. Yeah. You got anything on that? Um, yeah, for sure. So collaboration, not collaboration, creativity. Mm -hmm. Especially when you was talking about like having somebody follow you around. I'm terrible mm -hmm. at like taking pictures. It's <laughs> so weird. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> 2009. Uh-huh. This is before Instagram, uh, Facebook had just kind of became popular right but it wasn't normal for people to like record everything right i recorded everything like just every day i'm recording so much content right right at this time right and people would look at me like why are you like why are you always putting your camera out like it was it because it wasn't the the fad at the time it wasn't like, the norm yeah so um you saw it coming huh i don't even know if i even saw it coming as much as like i wanted to be able to like just document, right, right. Like being in college, document just anything, the things going on in my life, like, right, like more so memories. I get. I don't even know why I started doing. I just started doing it, right. Um, and so I fast forward to today, right? It was mm -hmm. like fifteen years later, right? Dang, dang. Been out of high school for fifteen dang. years. Dang. <laughs> it's fifteen years later, right? Uh, and man, like. I rarely even take a picture whenever I'm doing something exciting. Right. Oh, yeah. You know, so I went from recording everything. To not doing. To not doing even the exciting things. Right. So, I'll, and, I'll, and I'll, honestly, I don't, I don't even know 100% know why, but my point of bringing that up is, like, I'm at that point in my life now where it's just not important to me. Right. So I have to be able to <laughs> utilize people around me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. hey. You in charge of the pictures at this event. <laughs> I'm not going to remember. So that wasn't you that took that picture? What picture? On LinkedIn? From the event? Yeah. That was me. Okay, okay. That was me. Yeah, was, okay. But uh -huh. you see how trash those pictures were, though? It was, like, super far away. It was no, like, intimate photos, right? Like, I got to have somebody. And that's that's what made me realize it, though. It was, like, when I looking back, I was, like, man, I was, like, these are the only pictures I got. I ain't got no pictures, like, you know, up and close and personal with the team. Like, you know right. what I'm saying? Like, like, and it's, like, dang, I got to. I got to designate somebody to be able to. You got to collab, yeah. Do this. Yeah. So yeah. utilize their creativity because, you know, people love taking pictures, you know. Yeah. I just, I just don't, I don't fancy it anymore, you right. know. <laughs> so. Um, right, right. But, yeah. One thing I hate, I ain't going to say I hate it, but one thing I, I, I'm not liking anymore is editing. <laughs> it just seems that I can't get away from the editing seat though I like it because I can be creative Yeah But sometimes I get into a creative rut mm. Yeah so that's one thing that I don't like So like sometimes we'll divvy out to Fiverr or whatever mm -hmm. But their creativity unlocks a creativity in me Mm, so, so you they, edit what they edit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So they creative, they creativity takes yeah. me to a new level yeah. in, in being creative, you know. And that's the thing about creativity, man. Like when it comes to when it comes to creating, there's like no end to creation. Mm -hmm. It's art. But you know, there's no end. There's no parameters, no limits. So you can always build on each other's creativity. That's why I like to go by the rule, no ideal is a bad idea, really, mm. because you have to start with a, a trash idea. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? You know, and, and y'all just build from there. Uh, like I say, that's what they do in uh, Six Sigma. We talked about that, uh, like, the beginning episodes. Uh, when you're planning idea or when you, when you begin, so there's a brainstorming phase in mm -hmm. Six Sigma, and what they do is... Um, you begin to ask the team for like maybe 10 ideas. So people just start throwing out stuff and you got to write it down regardless of how trash it is. Right. 
you got to write it down because that trash idea might unlock something. Mm -hmm. You know, you just never know. So um, we just write it down and, you know, on a board and, and the next day we come to it and we start to eliminate ideas, you know, and then we just kind of build from there. So no idea is a bad idea because creativity builds on top of creativity. You could build something great right? and something different that nobody right. else have. So, yeah, man, that's that on creativity. Yeah. Yeah. That's all I got on creativity. Okay. Well, I got a last one. I guess it's a bonus one. Resources. Oh, the benefit. Yeah. Of collaboration yeah. is resources. You know, I'm not with you because you got a lot of money. Uh, that's not why. Who, me? Yeah. Allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> Allegedly. Hey, uh, no, I, I didn't get with you. You have resources as far as, again, it will tie everything back yeah. together. You got the ideas, creativity, um, network, your network. Mm -hmm. Like, me think about if I just decided to do a podcast by myself. Mm -hmm. My views gonna only go but so far mm -hmm. because it's only people who's in my sphere of uh, influence, and that's it. But my sphere of influence plus your sphere of influence, you know, my network mixed with your network, mm -hmm. we you know we got something yeah. because of your resources, you know. So. Yeah, yeah, one hundred percent, and it's and. And it kind of goes back to like that mentor piece too. Yeah. Like, your men make sure your mentor because like, what I say, your mentor is gonna speak in rooms before you get there, right? Right. 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 But if your mentor is somebody that don't even know where the room at, <laughs> like, what are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing? Nothing. You know. So like, you, you also need to you also need to choose a mentor that has resources Ooh. that's gonna be able to. Walk into rooms that you want to be in, man. <laughs> you know, help them. I got something for that. What you, you know got? what that sounds like? What's that? It sounds like lyric of the week. Lyric of the week. You want me to do it? Or you want to do it? No, nah, I got it, man. I got you got it. it. Okay, okay, okay. Unless you want to do it, you know? nah. Because I love, I love this bar right here, man. Unless you want to do it, I love this bar right here, man. So, lyric of the week. This comes from Jay Z. Jay Z. On Beyonce song. On Beyonce song. Yeah. <laughs> Boss. So over here, we measure success by how many people successful next to you. Oh. Jay-Z. So, and this is, and it's so story time, right? Wait, wait, wait. Story time. There we go. Story time. All right. I'm ready to become, um, this is what I'm living and making. And I'm ready to become an area manager. Right, right. I just hit two years as, as a, like I just hit all the qualifications, right? Mm -hmm. Customer service is where it needs to be. I'm ready to be an area manager. Let's go. I tell my area manager, uh -huh. hey, I'm ready. Uh, you ready? I'm ready. We ready. You can keep talking. And we ready. she says, okay, well, tell me about your tree. Yo, tree. Yeah, like my tree. What you mean? Yeah, like like the people that you've helped be successful. Like you, you know, you say you have all these promotions, right? And you have, mm -hmm. you know, wow. you you know, you had these double digit promotions, and you had all, you know, all this over the last, you know, year. Wow. Tell me about them. Wow. Well, yeah. I mean, you know, I got this person promoted. I got that person promoted. Okay. Cool. So it's like, well, how many of those people are successful today? Wow. It's like. Wow. Shoot, I don't know. It's like, it's like my responsibility sure. It's just my responsibility <laughs> to get them promoted. Right. Like, and I gotta promote it, right? Right. She was like, nah. She was like, as a area manager, level three, you gotta make sure that everybody around you oh. is successful. Oh. Not only while they're with you, but when they leave you as well. Oh. She was like, yeah, you got this person, they're a branch manager over here, but they're struggling. Wow. You got this person that's a branch manager over here, but they can't figure it out either. Wow. So who do you have that you can point to? Wow. That say that you developed them to be the next you. That's why you so gong home development. Ah, see now. Okay, okay, okay. Like, I understand the bigger picture. Ah. Uh, nobody, right. nobody, nobody wants the person that's so selfish that they just I got, I got them popped. I got them get them. I got them out of here. Right. And then they go out there and they just fall fall flat on their face. Wow. Like who? Like how is that successful for an organization? That's true. 
You know? Right. No, you were the person that were great, and they were great under you. <laughs> they said, I'm in the Drake lid, right? Like, you're supposed to go get your wings, get your own pair, right? Started this from the bottom, now you alone there. Oh, man. You know? Right. Like, right. Like, wow. They got to be able to fly on their own. And if they can't fly on their own, then what does that say about you as a leader? That's so many bars, bro. So, dang. Wait. Sorry. <laughs> Dang, I'm stuck, bro. Like <laughs> you just said a mouthful. I want to I want to cuz we're talking about resource, right? And Tony Robbins said this. He said you become successful not when you have resources, mm -hmm. but become resourceful. Mm -hmm. So the people what your boss was telling you is that how many people have you made resource for? Mm -hmm. Whoa. Because think about it. What Jay-Z said in his quote, we he said, what did he say? Um, success and not, did he say measure any or any anything? Yeah, he said, over here we measure success by how many people successful next to think you. Think about that bar, we measure success. So the measure of your success is your overall collaboration. Mm -hmm. Who you've mentored, and who's mentoring you? Mm -hmm. Because who's mentoring you, again, has the resources or is resourceful to even say your name in rooms and have that credibility to get you promoted. Yep. You're not even there. But also, the people that you've mentored also have the ability to now, once they become resourceful, mm -hmm. to say your names in rooms. You know what I mean? Right. You're not even there. Right. So now people want to be hired by you people want to be under you mm -hmm. and people want to mentor you right. that's crazy right. that, man, that makes you more resourceful mm -hmm. and successful bingo bars 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 <laughs> we don't measure success we measure success but how many people successful next to you if you the man in the room and ain't nobody successful under you that ain't success nope because where are they going to get you? You <laughs> right, know what I mean? Right. Where are they going to get you? You being the man, how are they going to get you to where you need to be? It's not going to happen. Mm -hmm. Only thing you're going to have is that title that I'm the man. That's going to only be in your head. Right. <laughs> you know right. what I mean? Like nobody else going to see you that way because you only out for you. Mm -hmm. You know, but um, but even if the, even if the people that, that you led do see you that way. Right. But they're not successful, so nobody's gonna see them that way. Right. So it stops. Yeah. It's like it's like an unfruitful tree, you right. know, like a um, you know, <laughs> remember when Jesus cursed the, cursed the fig tree? Oh yeah. Right. Yeah, like yeah. yeah. It's the it's the same thing. Like you're useless. That's crazy. You've impacted one generation. Right. And you expect no. Right. No. That's crazy. Don't work that way. I. <sighs> I ain't going to tell a story because it's just time to go. Man, we've been here an hour? Jesus. <laughs> this conversation's good, but one la my last name, if you got something else, that's cool. No, you're good. Remember how last episode, not last, a couple of episodes ago, I was talking about Mr. Olin yeah. and how he mentored me? Uh -huh. Bro, that was almost, that was what, it was close to, let me see, four years from now will be 20 years ago, almost. So it was like 16 years ago. Mm-hmm. He mentored me. I still remember that. That's leg. That's his leg. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Right. Like, but I'm going to just be 100. If you got me promoted and you the man and I, I saw you as the man, I probably don't see it. I probably don't even remember you by now. <laughs> be real with you because I couldn't do nothing with what you gave me. Right. You know, I saw, but if you gave me something, I'm going to always remember you. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to always come back, you know, and let you know, hey, I appreciate you. That's success. And that comes from... The power of collaboration. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I love it. Love it, man. Well, that's all you got? That's all I got. That's all I got. Y'all be sure to like, share, subscribe to this information. Hit the bell. Hit the bell. Hit the bell, man. Let's get this information out of here. I think we're out. We're out. We're out. All right. Peace. We can get it done. Call it unity. It ain't no way around it. Cultivating. We get motivation from the big guy. We don't play about him. Going hard for the gang show.